hello guys how are you so today's reading is gonna be about what are they feeling about you today what are they thinking are we gonna try to read their vibes today okay towards you so today you can pick a pile one pile two or pile three there are no crystals today i just want you to use your intuition maybe pick a number uh, one two or three or you just as you see visually some pile that you like okay don't overthink just use your intuition uh the first three five seconds okay so we're gonna start okay pile number one what are they thinking about you today what are they feeling i'm gonna read the cards try to read their energies okay So there's eight of swords, there's green Tara, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Bone Collector, Health, and Two of Autumn. So give me a second, I'm gonna read the energies. So I feel that you know this person uh, not the first day. It's like you already, uh, in some way, you already know each other. It's like one can think of uh, something and the other can, you know, catch up or like when you, even when you talk, you can uh, follow um, each other's sentences or like. Uh, even though maybe you knew uh, you don't know each other very well or but your energies it's like a soulmate like you know each other from past lives even maybe because i see the bone collector card here and it tells me that um your souls uh, are very like similar your energies are similar Also, this person feels that uh, you are very loved. Uh, they feel that um, everyone around likes you, and um, your your energies are so high. Like uh, everyone wants to be around you, and you're this beautiful, uh, amazing person. That everything is well around you, but they are not part of it they feel like they're not part of this uh, of you like uh, of your surroundings so maybe you're separated or maybe at the moment you cannot see each other physically but you can feel each other very well so also they worry about your health maybe for some maybe they're like um Or maybe you are this person who always cares about like uh, your health, uh, what you eat. Um, maybe you exercise, maybe you like to exercise. Or maybe that's them. Um, and they really love you. I feel a lot of love here. It's a gentle love. It's not like just passion. I feel like those love vibes. They also feel like you are uh, multitasking a lot, like 
you are everywhere you're a little bit there a little bit here and uh, you're so busy maybe they think that you have not you don't really have time for them and that's why they feel isolated uh, like they're not a part of your life that's what I feel right now now let's see if you recognize yourself or the person uh, that then you can continue watching then it's your pile if it resonates with you so what are they thinking about you today yes they're hurt they're not happy with the situation and something ended here and they're going through a transformation right now uh, so they can change things for better and since we're asking about you that's uh, changes uh, between you two because they're not happy with whatever's going on right now they're not happy yes uh, they want to see new uh, they want new things to come uh, in your relationship they want like a be open-minded and see what else can be there or maybe uh, things can be fixed uh, though they're very um, um, patient with you they're very patient they still like want to approach you and actually do something but probably they cannot right now for some reason and how do they feel how do they feel about you how do they feel about you? Yeah, they cannot let you go. Uh, they remember those good times you had together. And it gives them uh, a lot of stress, pain, uh, anxiety. That they cannot, uh, you know, change it like at the moment. They cannot approach you and just change everything for some you have there is some circumstances that don't let them to do it for some there could be a triangle situation but for some not i don't feel a lot will have that uh yeah but they want to start over something because something has ended here let's see um some advice for you pile number one some advice for you The advice for you is right now uh, just to stay where you are because it's a uh, four of ones it's like a house uh, so it's a home uh, stable maybe you as everybody else right now is at home and the advice for you just stay calm stay home and uh, you know let the time fix this like let them to approach you not you let them to fix this because they are watching you they're watching you and they are thinking of some solutions something they want to do there uh, might even be like um, angry or like uh, immature in a bit because um, page of one page of swords is maybe some immaturity in this person either that's the, how the person is either they're young or they're just like immature at the, at the moment because they're rational maybe I mean irrational like they're trying to do something uh, and doesn't work something something or someone stands in their way so give them time give them time let's see if they what will they uh, actually do eventually how they're gonna act yes. mm -hmm. yeah eventually they will come to you because they miss you a lot they uh, think about you all the time and um, they want to approach you because they love you they love you they have a lot of feelings towards you uh, especially if you're queen of cups 
uh, which is a water sign but doesn't have to because we're only asking about you today okay nobody else so they do miss you and they even want to maybe want to give you a present or something or approach you in a nice way that you would be happy that's what they're thinking about right now they're making some plans to do that okay pile number one so if it resonated please like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in the next reading then Okay, pile number two, what are they thinking, feeling about you today? I'm going to read some energies, okay? And you see if it resonates. If it does, then you can continue watching. I have Ace of Wands. I have Enheduanna, the High Priestess. I have Field of Dreams. I have pray, have release and relax, and I have the ego card. Give me a second, I'm gonna try to uh, read those energies. Okay, first of all, this person has a lot of sexual attraction towards you. At the moment today whatever you watch it and uh, it gives them sleepless nights they might even see you in their dreams uh, they might imagine you like how you together um, if you already had intimacy especially because that that's what comes to their mind every time they go to sleep And they uh, and they do love you they do love you especially something you probably have beautiful eyes or they have or you both uh, and they cannot let it go they cannot let go of thinking about you they cannot relax um, you see she's holding her head like she cannot release it um and they might even pray pray to god to the universe that they wanna you know let it go but they can't they can't let you go and uh, their ego is in place too so they feel trapped They worry a lot, but they're not gonna tell you about this. I'm sure they're not telling you about this. Maybe they they uh, they are, but for most of you, they're not telling you what they feel, how they feel, because of their ego is in place. Okay, if it resonates, you can keep watching, guys. Let's see uh, what are they thinking about you today. What are they thinking about you today? So first of all, there's a lot of jealousy in this person. Uh, you are so beautiful to them. Uh, you're you're a, su a successful, uh, a happy person like they, uh, they always think of, but uh, it also gives them anxiety and fears that somebody else will have you, especially if you're not together at the moment. And probably that's what like uh, makes them upset. They might be upset about it uh, and um, illusional about uh, that you are with somebody else, even if you're not. They really want to approach you. Uh, they want to approach you, but as I said before, they might not tell this to you. They might keep it in secret. They're um, very secretive, like when it comes to love, they're very secretive and they can be even conflicted in their head uh, about you and they're not going to tell this to you. 
you might not even know about this let's see what they feel how they feel about you pile number two okay pile number two how do they feel about you hmm. first of all they do want to uh write you call you approach you something they're thinking about approaching you because they they have a lot of passion towards you yes and the devil that's what i i thought and um they have a lot a lot of sexual attraction towards you as we saw in the beginning so this person has lots of uh, passion towards you so they do of course uh they want to approach you okay but it might be for some not for everyone it might be that you are married or you have other relationship or somebody else and that makes them not to you know open up for others if you don't have anybody they want to be your future uh, partner they want to be your partner they want to be the important person for you they want stable relationship but they still don't tell you about this they don't tell you uh, let's see what else they feel towards you what else they feel yes they do love you they remember the good times you had or maybe some talk you had together or maybe when you were together uh, physically um they see you as this beautiful uh open person uh, with beautiful um energy vibes but somebody broke uh, but probably you since we ask about you but their heart is broken for some reason or maybe they broke your heart they did something said something or um take it as uh, as it resonates with you something something broke here i hear maybe when you talked somebody said something uh so sharp like the swords you can see here and it was very painful very painful either for you or for them they do love you but they still feel this pain that's what maybe that's what stops them to approach you that's what stops them let's see some advice for you pile number two some advice for you hmm. yes this person since they hurt since they they hurt they can come at you as uh this like not serious like they might come as a fool literally like and say oh let's you know like nothing happened you know and don't give you any uh stability they can just come and uh, trick you into going again into this uh passion uh maybe they they just want to have sex with you at the moment but it doesn't mean they don't love you but that's how they want to present themselves right now because of their energy because they're so so attracted to you right now they uh feel so much sexual attraction that right now that's the only thing they can think of so they they might come as a like nothing happened you know without apologies without nothing you know so um don't tr fully trust right away uh give yourself time to think it over and realize if you actually need this person in your life uh because the advice for you is better if um how do i say it if they don't give you something stable uh you probably shouldn't take it right away you know that's how the you know that's how i feel with the cards because you are the person who wants or who needs um a stable relationship something stable something um 
you need this person who's gonna appreciate you and help you maybe and give you their love and not just passion not just passion so be careful with this person when they approach you again and they actually will because their their passion is overwhelming them okay guys that was their energies today uh, i hope it resonated if it did please like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in another reading Okay, pile number three. What are they thinking about you today? What are they feeling? Let's read their energies. I'm going to read their energies and uh, if it resonates with you, then we, you can continue watching, okay? So, I have strength. I have Kali, the mother of the universe. I have, have wide open. I have show appreciation and I have the dreamer. So first of all, what I want to say, this person uh, is very attracted to you and uh, they dream about you all the time. Whenever they have free time, even when they do something, they still dream about you. They're like thinking, maybe even overthinking. Um, and they actually appreciate you a lot. They appreciate you and they are very open to you. They might, they probably already told you. I feel here uh, in pile number three that they already told you how they feel. They, they opened up for you, to you and told you how they feel like they love you. Um, it's a very open person, I feel here. And uh, they feel like you are this... Um, loving caring person that's how they see you as loving and caring and you are a very strong person like mentally you could be very strong so they appreciate that in you they appreciate your strength i feel more inner strength here and that's what gives them uh keep them attracted to you Okay, if it resonates somehow, you can keep watching, continue watching, guys. So let's see what are they thinking about you today. File number three. What are they thinking about you today? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, they want to approach you. And they want to clear out some situation. Maybe you had some situation when you were uh, separated or you like... Uh, were left to think it over something because they feel lonely without you they don't want to be lonely i uh, they miss you a lot and they want to clear out they want to talk it with you they want to come and uh, g give this another chance and uh show you that they care what else are they thinking about you today what else are they thinking Yes, they have a lot of emotions towards you today. A lot of emotions. Especially sexual too. Uh, yes, they're in love. They are in love. Here, I, um, pile number three, I feel more like a, something new, something romantic going on here. It doesn't have to be new, but a lot of romance. A lot of romance here. Um, But somebody might be like um, holding their guards and li not, li not trying to open up. Maybe that's you. And they want you to, you know, talk to them. They want you to tell them how you feel. But um, they find it difficult to, to make you like be more open with them. They find it very difficult for some reason. Let's see how you feel about this person. Do you like this person? Hmm. I already see you have options here. You have options. 
you might consider yes you have options and you're the one who decides them here you know if you're gonna be together uh, you might be uh, in a committed relationship here or they might be uh, and that's why you have uh, options you have at least two options and you are here to decide what you really want and maybe that's what confuses them they want to talk this with, out with you they want to clear out like clear uh, they want to clear conversation with you like what's going to happen next do you want them do you not want them what your feelings towards them you know um let's see how they feel about you since we already saw they in love but still i want to see more how they feel about you hmm. as of now they feel sad as i said before uh they feel uh conflicted they feel that you are conflicted and maybe even cut them off they feel like uh and they're going through a transformation maybe you told them you're not ready you know or you cannot make up your mind something like um made them really really like upset even though they in love they still like s upset that uh either you didn't pick them or you're not clear about what you want with them you're not clear about it so let's see some advice for you pile number three yes so pile number three there is this person loves you they do love you they have a lot of feelings for you so if you uh like this person you should uh, you have to work on this because if you're not gonna you know work with them talk to them uh just leave it as it is they might leave they might leave and finish the end the cycle of uh they might still love you but they will leave they're not gonna you know continue fighting for you if you're not gonna put this into work like you have to explain to them at least what's going on in your head or like um don't leave them like um unknown and uncertain just uh you uh the advice here to talk with them and try to work something out otherwise they just gonna end this all and they will leave i mean if you don't care about this person you don't need this person uh of course you don't have to do anything but here it's clearly up to you how it's gonna go it's up to you okay pal number three i hope it resonated please like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in another reading